Tequila Sunrise. All right, just give me a second so I can get this back in there. All right, this one's kind of small. This one doesn't have a lot going on for it right now. I'm not sure why it's so small. I do give it fertilizer. It's being totally infested with, uh, looks like aphids or spider mites. I think these are aphids, some kind of a red type of aphid. I don't know if these are um, spider mites or aphids. They're orange, and then eventually they get wings and fly, and then they spread everywhere. So these things are very difficult to control. I've been spraying them. Anyway, um, yeah, there aren't flowers and everything. Here's a flower. Okay. See inside of it. Uh, this is going to be considered a broadleaf. That's what I'm going to. I'm calling this one. It's a broadleaf. The stems are a little bit raspy, not furry. Uh, there's no purpling on the plant, just purpling at the nodes. As you can see on the very bottom down here, if I can get you in there without breaking too many of my plants, we got one of the tequila sunrise. Uh, peppers yeah, all right it's not ripe yet but it's it's got a nice size to it and uh yeah you can see you can see right here see these things this is what i do i clean them off by hand and you know, just smush them up uh some people suggest you know just blow them off with a hose um i tell you that's probably not a good idea to do uh, from my personal experience of doing that, it actually, it's it, it's like cancer. Once you expose cancer to the air, it spreads, it metastasizes, it spreads all over the body. You spray these things with water, they don't die. They they sp You spread them all over the place. Right now, they're concentrated on the very tops of certain plants. They choose an area, they concentrate, and they kind of go there. You might, you'll pick out little wanderers here and there, but generally, they, they, they like to concentrate on one top of one plant. And um, you're better off going into there on each plant and just physically removing them. Do, do not spray your plants to get rid of aphids. Um, I've never had luck doing that. That's like sweeping dirt under the carpet and saying, oh, well, let's clean now. So <laughs> you do what you want, but I'll tell you right now, I wouldn't do it. All right, so if you see aphids, you just got to kill them with your fingers or you get a spray. Don't remove them. Leave them right where they are and spray them and kill them right in place. And uh, that's the best way to deal with that uh, particular situation. All right, so that was the tequila sunrise. All right, this is the tequila sunrise. All right, here it is. Seat savers. All right, that's the front of the package. A package. Here's the back. Okay, you see all the details. There's the details of, uh, you know, sell-by date and all that good stuff. All right. What do we got here? From Planet Natural, like I told you, they sell seed. They must buy out everybody's stock like uh, Baker Creek and Seed Savers and all that. And they sell it to you for a discounted price. They're older seeds. It uh, doesn't necessarily mean that they're not going to uh, not sprout. I do have about eight or nine packs of seeds that I did not do at good at all there's no sprouts I'm on my last attempt to sprout the last of whatever I had left and uh, it doesn't look like I'm probably going to get anything out of those and so I will be doing a review on all the fails I'm going to probably combine that in one video and uh, we'll just go over the fails and where they came from and then uh, you can take the details from there so anyway I paid two bucks planetnatural.com uh, approximately 50 seeds, not bad. Scoville units, we don't know. Capsaicin anum. Uh, this is about all the details you see on there about the pepper. That's from the website and everything else. And then there's just planting, harvesting tips, and that kind of stuff. All right? So that's your tequila sunrise sweet pepper from Planet Nam.